With the situation in Niger still volatile, India has issued an advisory for its nationals in the African country. It says the citizens are asked to leave the country as soon as possible. Addressing the media, the Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bakhtche said New Delhi is closely monitoring ongoing developments in Niger. Niger. Um, the government of India is closely monitoring ongoing developments in Niger. In the light of the prevailing situation, Indian nationals whose presence is not essential are advised to leave the country as soon as possible. They may bear in mind that airspace is currently closed. When departing through a land border, utmost precautions may be taken to ensure safety and security. Those who may be planning travel to Niger in the coming days are also similarly advised to reconsider their travel plans until the situation normalizes. All those Indian nationals who have not registered with the Indian Embassy in Niamey are strongly advised to do so expeditiously. Indian nationals can reach emergency contact in the Embassy of India Niamey at the number plus 227 9975-9975 for any assistance. We will also be issuing this advisory on our social media platforms uh, shortly. Tensions are rapidly intensifying in Niger as its new military regime clashes with the West African regional bloc ECOWAS, which had ordered the deployment of troops to restore the country's faltering democracy. The ECOWAS bloc announced its decision to deploy a standby force with the goal to reinstating constitutional order in Niger following the expiration of its deadline for the reinstatement of ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. The specifics of ECOWAS forces deployment remain unclear, raising questions about its timing and location. The reports of threats against President Bazoum's life add complexity to the decision-making process within the 15-member regional bloc. Conflict experts suggest that the ECOWAS force may comprise approximately 5,000 troops, possibly led by Nigeria, and could be ready for deployment in the coming weeks. Neighboring country Ivory Coast has announced its participation in the military operation alongside Nigeria and Benin. There are some, though, who are expressing discontent with ECOWAS's potential intervention, asserting that the regional bloc lacks an accurate understanding of the ground reality and the underlying reasons for the coup. Niger, home to around 25 million people, has been a vital partner for Western nations in combating the jihadi insurgency linked to the Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group that has afflicted the region. Countries like France and United States have invested significantly with over 2,500 military personnel in Niger, along with substantial financial contributions to support the nation's military infrastructure. The junta, led by General Abdul Rahmani Chiani, claims that it can provide better protection against jihadi violence than President Bazoum's government. The junta has capitalized on anti-French sentiments among the population to bolster its support. Meanwhile, the African Union has expressed strong support for ECOWAS's decision and urged the junta to de-escalate tensions. As the region hangs between potential mediation and conflict, people in Niger face the consequences of severe economic and travel sanctions imposed by ECOWAS. The situation has further worsened an already dire humanitarian crisis, especially for more than 4 million Nigerian citizens who relied on humanitarian assistance even before the coup. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.